When Britannia ruled the waves, these were the figureheads, literally. Some weighed two tons, so the restoration team had to be careful. The figurehead of HMS Topaz was embedded with history. We found a little musket ball. At their workshop in Greenwich, Hans and Maxwell have carried out a monumental conservation project for icons which have been left to rot. Sometimes in gardens, uh, town greens, um, all over, really. So that's after a, a Navy career where they're being sprayed with exactly. salt water the whole time. Yeah, yeah so it's a kind of recipe for disaster for, for historic timber. Internally, most of the figureheads were turning to dust. Here are some of the befores and afters. This is Tamar and this is Royal William. Painstaking conservation work means they're now ready to be transferred to Britain's newest museum, which opens in Plymouth next year. They're going to be displayed like an armada in the air, so it's rather important they don't fall apart. The restoration has cost one million pounds, but the conservators say heritage is priceless. They're just kind of quite magnificent objects. They, they, we've kind of had them in the studio, for, obviously, for quite a long time now, and they really are an amazing presence. There's definitely something quite important about it. And I just like thinking about the kind of what, what these objects must have seen and the, 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 their lifespan, what, what's changed. It's quite an incredible story that they represent, I think. They once ruled the waves, and they have one more voyage left to go on display as national treasures. Simon Viger, 5 News.